name is Ari Davidoff. I'm from Earth Networks. Uh, we are a U.S.-based global company. Uh, we work in severe weather monitoring and alerting. And um, we have been deploying uh, systems and um, providing data to national governments and uh, to various stakeholders and the public around the world um, for a very long time, uh, since um, 1993. Um, we came to Uganda, I believe, first time um, around uh, 2013, and uh, we uh, began providing information on the types of uh, systems and services that are available to provide early warning of severe weather uh, for uh, communities, um, businesses, and um, various organizations and NGOs. And and um, really, since then, uh, have maintained a you know a, 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 an engagement with the stakeholders over the years. Uh, we had worked with the East African Community Secretariat um, and the member states, including Uganda and the um, uh, Uganda National Meteorological Authority or UMA, uh, on a pilot program uh, to implement our uh, severe weather monitoring and alerting stations around Lake Victoria on all sides, including the Uganda side. Um, it's a program that was uh, supported uh, in addition to UNMA by, of course, our colleagues at um, African Centers uh, for Lightning and Electromagnetics, uh, ACLE, as well as the Uganda Civil Aviation Authority and uh, many regional uh, government offices and uh, just uh, really good folks. Um, the, over the years, the program got scaled up and uh, coverage uh, uh, extended uh, over the rest of the country. Uh, so for the most part, uh, these uh, systems and the data is available um, in most of, uh, uh, across most of Uganda. Uh, to uh, talk about what that information is, uh, so these um, uh, sensors that are deployed and uh, they operate in real time and they um, uh, they pick up uh, signals in the atmosphere and uh, through um, uh, cloud computing analytics, uh, that, that, is, that data is turned into information, uh, information on the exact location uh, of each and every lightning strike that happens um, uh, with high uh, accuracy down to about half a kilometer uh, and also uh, with uh, uh, detection of both uh, cloud to ground lightning, uh, the lightning that hits the ground, as well as the in cloud uh, discharges. Uh, also, uh, a number of um, kind of uh, analytics and software packages allow for the system to um, generate automated warnings of where uh, storm cells and where lightning cells will be um, really over the next hour or so. Uh, so, everything, uh, all of the lightning and severe weather activity is uh, tracked and um, automated um, alert polygons are, are um, uh, generated uh, in real time uh, across Uganda. And uh, that information is available um, either through uh, software applications uh, like uh, GIS-based applications or uh, through uh, mobile phone applications uh, and also uh, through innovative programs that, uh, that our uh, partners uh, have uh, developed. For example, the um, uh, the program uh, with Airtel called uh, 321. Uh, it's a short code, uh, you dial 321, uh, and one of the content areas is the weather area uh, where there is a forecast uh, that's made available in local languages uh, via IVR, uh, SMS, and USSD, and also a, um, a push alert uh, for severe thunderstorms and lightning. Uh, that can be carried to a mobile phone that isn't smart. Um, so we have a number of ways that we're able to support uh, different missions uh, of the national government of Uganda, as well as the, um, the various organizations and international NGOs that are supporting uh, the Uganda government and its work. Uh, and uh, we're really keen to continue to help um, uh, in Uganda uh, with uh, severe weather information of this type, and uh, we look forward to working with the stakeholders there um, in the future.